Welcome to Chat With Me. I am so excited to introduce to you the amazing, the wonderful, and not so bad looking, Maurice T. Johnson. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Maurice, I'm so glad you're here. No, I I'm really do here. enjoy following you. I love to see all of your photographs, the films that you're in, everything you're doing. But I just gave it away. I told everybody what you do. What do you do, Maurice? So I am a professional actor. An actor. An actor. I love it. So how in the world did you get into this field or what made you say one day, that's it, I'm not going to do anything else, this is what I'm going to do? Um, so, um, man, it's not much of a story. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it, was, there, it does have some layers to it. Uh, it was one of those things where people are like, oh, you look like an actor and a model. Um, I had some uh, significant life changes, kind of changed my thought process, and I was like, you know what, maybe I should just try this and see so if I can do anything with it. So it was people telling you, like, you I mean, I've this. heard it over time, you know, like, oh, you look like a model, or you look like an actor, or you look like somebody, and I was just kind of like, well, yeah. let me just see where Well, this then goes. I guess I'll be one. <laughs> <laughs> that is wild. So what did you do before? Oh, man, I have lived many lives. Uh, I'm a veteran, I was in the Marines, oh, I was you. in the uh, corporate sector, uh, multimedia design engineer, I was a game designer, I was working for Sony wow. on video games in California. So ladies and gentlemen, he doesn't just have good muscles, he has a brain as well. Yeah, well, I like to think so. <laughs> I don't know everything, but I know some things. You know a lot of, a lot of things. I know some things. That's incredible. So when did you decide, how old were you, if you don't mind me asking, when you decided to make that switch? Oh, no, see, I, this isn't something when I was like a kid or anything. It was like uh, 2017? Yeah, 2017. 2017, so just a couple January. of years ago. Yeah, I've only been doing this a um, few years. People think I've been doing it way longer, but no. Well, it, it looks like you do because you're very professional and you're very good at what you do. So I would have thought so too. Did you take any classes? Uh, no, so a lot of, um, Pretty much what I do now and how I operate came from actually when I was in the game industry. So because it's all under that same entertainment umbrella, you know, there's yeah. certain parallels yes. to things that I do now. So I was already kind of used to being on sets and being around like production teams and producers and green screens and, yeah. you know, knowing how to pitch and how to sell myself and such. So, and I'm also an artist, so, you know. Maurice, what can't you do? No, there's a lot of things, trust me, I can't do. <laughs> I'm not buying it. I think you can do pretty much anything. Um, I'm a full sale alumni for masters in game design, actually. And oh, that's I, incredible. I did my undergrad in California, actually, for bachelor's uh, in game art and design. And then I was working as an intern for Sony Online Entertainment. And then they hired me as a 3D artist. And then from there, left California, came here to full sale, did my masters. And I was in charge of seven teams uh, for the undergraduates for the Bachelor of Game Arts program. So when I came to Full Sail, I already been in the industry, I already had like AAA credits. Yeah. You know, it was like, it was easy for me. I was like, hey, this is how I make my money. So yeah. uh, that was a great experience. So I took from what I knew from that. So it's kind of like when I deal with stuff now, I can look at it like from a design yes. and artistics like standpoint versus, you know, the common everyday, you know. Yeah, but I love that you came here from California and then got into acting and modeling. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's so funny. This is <laughs> and true. And unique, but I, I love it. And and there's something else that you've done. Oh what, yeah, I wrote what a is book. this sitting on the table? <laughs> I wrote a book. Oh. Yeah, I can act, I can make a game, I can, you know, do anything. And and by the way, mm. I wrote a book. So this book, uh, it's called Hacking Your Life in Western Society, Living Techniques for Men Living in the Current Social Media Matrix. So this book is about 13 principles for millennial men to live their best lives and be about their true purpose. And how in the world did this come about? So um, uh, pretty much a really like a crappy portion of my life took place like several years ago. So it kind of, changed my thought process and how I operate now. Yeah. Um, gave me a lot of time to think. <laughs> you yeah, know? And, I mean, some and, of the best things come out of some pretty horrible situations, right. you know, with their learning experiences and- Exactly, and, and, and that's exactly what it was. And, and uh, a lot of self-reflection. Yeah. Um, and a lot of like uh, discipline to, uh, when it comes to self-improvement and just living, you know, my best life. So when you have that kind of time and you take that kind of like dedication to better yourself, you kind of start surprising yourself like, 
and then you and you start learning that like oh I, I kind of like doing this you yeah. know and I like doing that and you know I don't know kind of know thyself type of thing I love that and how can people find this book so right now it's on Amazon so okay. paperback and Kindle 9.99 paperback 2.99 Kindle nice. um, I will life have life changing a, right? I think 10 bucks is worth a life changing yes and it's a very it's a, it's a very uh, it's a very uh, quick read you know I know people have uh, busy lives um, actually men and women can use the book but I wrote it from a man's perspective obviously but the principles in there anybody can use I love it and um, you know I, I just think a lot of people they get like lost in you know this this crazy world they live yeah. in now we're always busy there's a lot of people living unfulfilled lives yes. um, very but, filled but not fulfilled correct yeah. a lot of people uh, working jobs they can't stand and they're just kind of like is this it yeah <laughs> you know and I'm here to tell you it's not it. Right. You know, a lot of things that we do, um, they come from like societal norms, mm. um, things that are passed down from our parents, and we just do them just because, you know, they're tradition. Right. But, but it's up to us to recognize that and make those changes. Correct. Correct. So. And you did. So tell me about yeah. some of the acting gigs that you've had. Oh, man. So, um, well, obviously, just recently, I just got off the, um, the OIF Edge Challenge. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was back in Har um in October, so the thing was horror and thriller, so I had two films there, and then we just had our awards gala uh, last month, nice. and I was one of the hosts there with my co-host, and it was super fun, it was a great experience, it was my first one. Award uh, shows are so much fun, when to be live, like, I've watched so many on TV, but that was my first one to be at live, and it was, it's just so much fun, yeah, it the was, energy it, is it, like it was exciting. A, it was amazing, and that's, and, that, and I'm a big people person, so yeah. like the energies, like you said, they were amazing, and, um, I want to give a shout out to uh, Tivia and like uh, Lenny because you know for them to even sponsor that and Full right. Sail helping us out and like organize that yeah. and like it was a great experience it really like was. and, it was and I'm, I'm glad I did it and you know I look forward to future ones and it getting bigger and better. Nice. Um, let's see what else have I done? Uh, so there should be a Netflix movie come out anytime now. Hmm. I have Netflix. So, <laughs> What's the name uh, of it? Called Don't Shoot the Messenger. Don't Shoot the Messenger, okay. So uh, it's based off a book, which is actually on Amazon. You can find it on Amazon right now as well, by Shara D. Okay. So the whole premise of the movie is there's two brothers. They start a um, business called Don't Shoot the Messenger. So the business breaks up people in relationships. Oh, so those people don't have to do it. It sounds fun. Yes. It sounds fun. I'll have so to it's check like, it out. It's like a dramedy. So. Nice. So I have, I have a part in there. Um, and then I have a second Netflix uh, movie that's coming out probably sometime next year called 45 Seconds. Okay. So that's already done filming. Um, I just did a great film with the, the First Institute called Oblivion. Ooh. And that film actually touches on uh, suicide and depression. Okay. And very it's, important it's topic. A, yes, it's a, it's, a, it's a heavy film, but a very great film. Wow, and where can, will we be able to find that? Um, so they're actually getting it all done in post right now to submit okay. that to the like festivals. Oh, very so, cool. That's awesome. So I'm just like waiting, <laughs> like kind of like yeah. waiting on post, waiting on post. It's exciting. And you uh, model as well. I do model. So uh, sometimes uh, it just depends on the shoot. Like I've I started kind of going back into the traditional fashion modeling. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of things that I model, like I, I do model for designers and such, but you know, a lot of things I have are just mine. I'm just kind of like, oh, I know it looks good on me. I don't know about anybody else. <laughs> but uh, I just did. I just did a blade shoot. I remember oh, we were kinda, fun! Uh, this was something I wanted to do. Yeah. Um, be, then I did that for Halloween. Um, I have a smoke bomb shoot. That should be something artsy coming up. Um, actually, so later much on. Fun this week. So do you have a preference? Do you like acting better than modeling or modeling better oh, than acting? Oh, acting, acting. Acting by far. So... Although there is some acting that goes on while you're modeling. That helped, that actually yeah. helped me uh, when it came to the acting because like you mentioned, like sometimes you're on set, sometimes the set is themed. Yeah. Um, you have to interact with, you know, who you're modeling with. Yeah. So there's a bit of acting in yes, there. And for since sure. obviously I don't have a problem being in front of the camera, <laughs> <laughs> like it, it definitely helps. <laughs> So how can people follow your journey? Oh man, so uh, obviously all the social media okay. networks, um, Facebook, uh, Maurice T. Johnson Official, okay. uh, Instagram at Kryptonian Black, um, IMDB Maurice T. Johnson, my official website, thejohnsonbrand.com. Nice. So. 
Lovely Definitely ways, awesome ways to follow him. You have to keep up with him. He's just gonna climb and climb and climb and soar. You're just a great professional. I actually got to work with him a little bit. It was, it was fun, it, it was, was fun. great. And I'm so glad that we've had the opportunity to interact in that way. And here today, I love that you came in and, and shared this with us no and i appreciate you having me it's like totally fun and and you're the constant professional too so you know give yourself some credit right all, all right, right. <laughs> and she has a great show a great i do set, have a great show you should watch cool it mugs, right? <laughs> all right maurice thank you so much for coming in oh, i really appreciate thank you. you and thank you guys so much for watching and as always take care of yourselves and don't forget to take care of each other